afternoon. Beautiful day today. A little different video for you today. I thought I would talk about something that uh, I know a little bit about. Maybe something a little different that many people don't think about. Why you can eat an apple every day. Uh, 12 or 13 years ago, I never thought about it until I started working for the company that I do now. The majority of the apples grown in the United States come from Washington, Michigan, and New York. So essentially what you need to do is put the apple to sleep. Kind of an extended form of hibernation. They breathe like we do, take in oxygen, give off carbon dioxide. There are labs across the United States that study how can you make an apple last? Because the season is only in the fall. It's not a, depending on the region, produce that you can get all year fresh off a tree. So they need to be kept somewhere. To start, apples need to be cold. So there are facilities that are just basically giant refrigerated rooms. And the buildings range in size. We have customers that have a building with only four rooms. We've got customers with 30, 40, 50 rooms. Some of these rooms are big enough to house 1.4 million apples in a room. That seems like a lot. It is a lot. But we have a lot of apple trees. And all those apples need to go somewhere. So first thing you do is get them cold. And that also depends on the variety. Most of them you can put into storage and just get down to 33 degrees, 34 degrees, right away, as fast as you can. Another variety like Honeycrisp doesn't react well to quick chills. So you want to start them out a little bit warmer and then gradually bring the temperature down. Once you got that figured out, you get a room full and you seal the room with a big insulated door. Help keep the cold air in, but also you want to make the room as airtight as possible. I'll try to find a photo of one of these doors I'm talking about. They're pretty good size. The openings need to be big enough to get high lows in and out of. And we manufacture a door for these rooms. We assemble them right here in Michigan. We are partnered with a company over in Europe for the parts and the ability to sell them, but we assemble them all here in the States and install them. Now give me a minute, I need to unclog it. The drain. And I'll come back with the next step in making an apple last longer. Welcome back. Quick break there. Snake didn't work, so we're trying Drano. Next step is the uh, plumber again. I've had problems with this bathroom downstairs since we moved into this place. Brand new construction. All right, so where was I? I think we're past the uh, cold storage part, getting apples cold. 
Next, you need to control the air, essentially that they're breathing. So the air around us that we breathe every day is approximately 21% oxygen, 70-ish percent nitrogen, and then just a kind of a mixture of other gases that, uh, actually I'm not even really sure. So we manufacture machines that generate nitrogen. We're separating the nitrogen out of the air and storing it. So what farmers do in these cold storage buildings, once the door is closed and sealed, and they know the room is tight, they'll turn on our machine and start pumping nitrogen into these rooms. So ultimately what we're trying to do is get the oxygen out of the room. It depends on the variety. Average, you want to get the percentage of oxygen down to 1.5 to 2% ish. Again, it depends on the variety and it depends on what you're trying to do. Some varieties, they'll drop it right down to 0.5, 0 0.6% oxygen. The lower you can go and not strain the fruit, the longer you can store it. But at the same time, as the apple is respirating or breathing, it's producing carbon dioxide. Well, we manufacture another piece of equipment that will pull air out of these rooms. Hello and put it through a filtration process that, that takes the carbon dioxide out of the air. And it's a closed loop, so you're, you're taking air out of the room, putting it back in. And you, you try to do this so you don't introduce oxygen back to the, because you, you want it to be stable. I mean, if, if you have a leak somewhere and you're adding oxygen, well, then you gotta run more nitrogen. And that's just not very efficient. It's expensive to run the compressors that generate enough air to run these machines. So the control systems that we manufacture will sample the air in each room. It takes a look at the oxygen level and the carbon dioxide level. Now depending on what variety the farmer has in the room, it depends on kind of his recipe. So our system samples the air. If the air is above, for example, 1.5%, turns on our nitrogen machine and it starts pushing nitrogen into this room and the, just, the purpose is just just to get the high O2 air out and you're getting the room down and at the same time we're looking at carbon dioxide if the carbon dioxide goes up say maybe above one percent five one point five percent again it depends on the variety you want to keep that co2 low so you'll turn on our other machine and start filtering the co2 out of the air Every variety has a recipe, it's kind of a guideline, and then every farmer kind of has their own method. So you have these rooms full of apples. In some varieties you can sit and uh, keep that way for 6 to 12 months. So that kind of helps us be able to go and buy an apple every day of the year. When you go to your grocery store, depends on what part of the nation you're living in. In Michigan, you do see a lot of Michigan apples, but you also see a lot of New York apples. You see a lot of Washington apples. Uh, Washington, I would, I would guess Washington's probably the biggest grower, followed by New York and then Michigan. Um, but yeah, if you if you you're at the store and you're buying apples, it's it's usually from one of these three states and it didn't just come off a tree it's it's been in a storage facility uh, for a while so that's it just a little lesson in case anybody was curious next Saturday we're heading to my dealership for the first service on it a thousand mile service 
while we're there for two hours we'll be checking out whatever's new i believe the dealership's open now we can we can wander around i think they're limiting it limiting it to 10 people but i've got some oh reward dollars there so i believe my wife wants a shirt and i got some stuff i'm looking for Ooh, nice so we'll see i'm gonna try to get some good video there I asked my wife if she wanted to take anything for a test ride and got a pretty quick no <laughs> so anyway i'll end it here thanks for listening just a little little story about apple storage if anybody was ever wondering but if you could please subscribe Give me a thumbs up if you would and uh, share it I'm gonna try to get more consistent with the content and uh, hopefully it's something you guys will be interested to watch maybe I'll just keep them kind of short and short and sweet it's not my ride and I uh, hope you guys have a good afternoon evening morning wherever you are if you feel like it, please check out one of my other videos. I'll have one or two of them posted here on the screen. And uh, we will see you next weekend.